Fuck the rock too, man. That motherfucker over here playing me. See him over here smiling with Mad Vidal. He could get it too. Also, you mentioned before that uh, the rock can get it as well. What exactly did you mean by that? What was it that the rock did? Nigga, he's on that side. Fuck him. The Rock says he was meant to take his big right hand, slap the fat off your ass, and give it back to you. Oh, it doesn't matter what your names are. The Rock says this. is let The Rock welcome you to The Rock's world in The Rock's way. If you smell what The Rock is cooking. running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Despite his busy schedule, the Ouch. only thing that Bravo Bull wants to do now is lay the smackdown on his opponent. Hey, Corey, do you smell that? Byron, leave the catchphrases to the great one. But yes, we all smell what The Rock is cooking. There, you made me say it. See, that wasn't too bad. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. We talk about how important stipulations are in a steel cage match. If superstars sign a contract where the only way to win is escape the cage and have both your feet touch the floor, the competitors must have a plan. Especially since you have to be comfortable trying to escape through the cage door as you do climbing over the top of the cage and vice versa. The elbow! Corey, you touched on something moments ago that's so important for the combatants in a steel cage match to remember. A superstar must be able to think offensively to figure out how they're going to escape the cage. They must think defensively at the same time so they can prevent their opponent from getting out of the cage first and winning the match. Well, a superstar must become comfortable with escaping the cage by both exiting the cage door and by climbing over the top of the cage. They must also be aware of their attributes and what's best for them. Let's just say if you're a giant like The Big Show, The Undertaker, Kane, or even Braun Strowman, it's preferred to exit through the cage door. Guys, when The Rock first broke into WWE, he was often referred to as a blue chipper. And given his legendary lineage, it's easy to see why so much was expected from him right from the start. Oh, oh boy, he is rolling. Going for broke. Incredible impact. I'm not sure how much he has left. The Rock just changed the momentum of this match. As Byron mentioned, The Rock comes from a long line of successful Samoan superstars, including former WWE Tag Team Champion Rocky Johnson, Grandfather High Chief Peter Maivia, both of whom are WWE Hall of Famers. And with respect to those legends, I'd say it's The Rock and his... He's looking at it. Rock bottom, the rock bottom! There it is! According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. The settle a dispute between competitors Jack Bloomfield. Submission time! Is he done? And he breaks the hold. But look at him, still trying to catch his breath. 
Oh boy, he is rolling. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Corey, you gave us an impressive look at it. <laughs> Turn out the lights. He, he might have it. Is he done? And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. DDT! Planet. He's starting to look beaten, guys. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this match. Clearly, they're both running on fumes right now. And at this point, it might just be a matter of which superstar's tank reaches empty first. What a strike. Take it off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. No reverses it. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Buster. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Here we go. The Rock is in position. And now one more time. The Rock with a rock bottom. This one is over. Even The Rock. This might not have been a wise move for him here, Michael. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. When this guy's on, look out. Here he goes. I don't think he's got it completely locked in. He somehow breaks free. Nice, but he clearly has next to nothing left to give here. Beautiful technique. And I think it's clear that The Rock is feeling the physicality of this match. And I'm not sure he even knows where he is. The look on his face right now tells me he'd rather be anywhere else in the world than inside that cage right now. This one could go either way, guys. It might just come down to which superstar is the next to make a mistake. Oh, he dodges out of the way. He's looking good night. Good grief. This is his opportunity to win this thing. Here he goes. This just ain't gonna do it. What a way to win a singles match. Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. He's getting it done here. He ain't messing around. Look at him go. He really put on a great show. Here is your winner, Nate Diaz. What a ferocious conclusion to this steel cage match. It's a good thing The Rock has a second career in Hollywood because he didn't look ring ready tonight. And it's matches like this one that makes SmackDown such a success. Thank you so much for joining us. fatigue but he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound he just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him sometimes momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way that's what he wants to avoid here and the slam here comes the rock Oh no, Shoot. here we go. Spine on the pine. That has got to be it. Rock setting it up. Rock That's 
what he was looking for, Michael. I think that slam caught us all off guard. 